Before we move on to do any more HTML coding, it's time that we have a discussion about URLs. So URLs are the addresses that you put in your browser here. They stand for Uniform Resource Locator, URL. And there's different types of URLs. Let's take a copy and paste of what's up there now. And we'll just come back here and I'll open a new file for us. All right, so this is what was showing up in the address bar. This is a local file sitting on my desktop that I had opened. It starts file colon slash slash slash. If you're working on a Windows computer, it might start C colon backslash and then some other stuff. Important lesson number one, you should never ever have anything that looks like this in any of your code because this is pointing to a file on your computer, uh, but it doesn't uniquely identify your computer. If you have this in your code, basically the person who's looking at your page, their browser is going to look on their computer for a file in that place and they're not going to find it. So you never should have anything that starts with a C colon or a file colon in your HTML. There are two ways that you can do URLs whenever you have to use them. You can do what's called an absolute URL and that starts with the HTTP. That stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. The HT is the same as the HT in HTML. HTTP, or you'll sometimes have HTTPS, which is secure, HTTP. Those are absolute URLs. It means you're giving the full web accessible address. And you could do something like google.com. So that's an absolute URL. You can also do what's called a relative URL. And when you're writing code, you can just put basically the name of the file that you're using. So if I wanted to link to or have um, some kind of pointer to my lists.html file, which we just made, I would just put lists.html. You can also point to other directories. I'm not going to get too deep into that now. In general, for this class and practice that will make your life easier is you should put your files that are for a specific website all in a single folder. When you make more complicated websites, of course, that doesn't work. But if you're making simple websites, put everything in the same folder. And then when you're pointing from one file to another or pointing from one image to another, uh, you can use just the name of the file. So relative URLs are just the file name. There's no HTTP or anything. There's just a file name. There may be a directory, um, for example, something like my files slash. An absolute URL has the HTTP colon slash slash or HTTPS. You will sometimes see this in your browser and never, ever, ever use this. It's a common mistake that people make when they're learning HTML to just copy and paste that and then their pages don't work and they don't know why and it's because they didn't listen to me. So don't ever put anything that starts with a file or a C colon in your code anywhere. So there's a quick uh, tutorial on types of URLs. 